Another big headline out of Davos was the existential threats posed by runaway climate chaos and the runaway development of AI without guardrails, end quote. Those are the words of the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, when he spoke in the main Congress hall on Wednesday. Reflecting on the COP28 in Dubai, he called for the phasing out of fossil fuels, said it was essential and inevitable. For his view on whether the fossil fuel industry should be part of the talks when it comes to phasing out their type of oil and on the fact that the COP29 in Azerbaijan will have a committee just made up by women, we spoke to Wupke Hukstra. He's the new EU climate commissioner in charge of climate action. You know, there was a lot of there was a lot of talk about uh, the the previous presidency, and the only thing you can conclude is that they did manage to deliver. Uh, Dr. Sultan and his team did an excellent job in bringing the world together and coming up with the ambition we uh, we actually saw it all together. So the only thing uh, from my my perspective we should judge the next COP on is results. Is the result a significant step in the right direction, particularly in the realm of finance, uh, which that COP will be all about? Meanwhile, on Wednesday in Davos, European leaders like the French President Emmanuel Macron and the Spanish Premier Pedro Sanchez took a break from domestic national woes to woo the world of tech and big business here in Davos, giving lengthy speeches with the French President Emmanuel Macron calling for a much stronger European Union, for better cooperation and collaboration globally, and also for innovation. Thursday now we'll see a little bit of a wind down of the numerous talks that have been taking place throughout the week but there will be one very interesting discussion on anxiety which really is interesting considering our conversations earlier this week in Davos with the founder of a youth organisation Think Young that represents young people from all across the world who believe that anxiety and mental health are one of the key issues now for young people and that's what they'll be thinking of when they go to vote in the European elections this June. Maeve McMahon, Euronews, Davos.